It is Tuesday, September 2nd, 2025. Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This spot likely to develop rather soon, just over the next couple of days. This should become Gabrielle. This area really flaring up. Most of the heavy rain has been staying south of Cabo Verde. So in this video, I want to track this out, show you the American model, the European model, what this means down the road and what can steer this area. Plus two systems in the Eastern Pacific, both may impact uh, the United States, one impacting Mexico, so lots to cover in this video. Now we get a look here. This is the spot we're watching. All of the models have this, at least as a strong tropical storm. Uh, the latest runs of the model, everything I've been looking at overnight, has this developing into a hurricane. That does not mean it's coming directly at us. It doesn't mean it's definitely moving into the uh, Caribbean. Doesn't mean it's definitely moving away at this point. What I need to watch is to see how quickly it develops. Actually, the sooner it develops, the more likely it is to feel a front up to the north and actually move to the north. So actually, some quicker development could be better long term. Uh, a system that's a little bit weaker is more likely to not really feel anything up to the north, just kind of almost mind its own business and work its way off toward the west. So how soon it develops will be key. But over the next couple of days, I do expect that development. Here's what we have going on now. Scattered areas of rain, Nicaragua. Agua, Haiti near Jacmel, Boston Blue. And then we live to the north, Freeport, New Providence. We've had some rain overnight, some bigger storms in Cuba. And this spot here will bring us some additional rain near Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, even Grenada, as we go over the next uh, couple of days. Here's that look at some of the rain back through the Bahamas, extreme south Florida, and back through Cuba. Some heavy areas of rain for today. Some of that may spill over to parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Haiti, and the DR. We will see that chance of some rain and storms once again. Now, let's get back to that spot we're watching. This is the European model, all right? So here we are in the uh, Caribbean, high pressure locked into the north. That is the blocker, right? With that to the north, this can't shoot up to the north, so it just kind of minds its business, working its way off toward the west-northwest. But as it works its way to the west-northwest, uh, high pressure kind of stays over there. So it may give it an alleyway to kind of lift to the north. If it stays weaker, it would work its way off toward the west. So let's go out in time here with the European model. Again, here we are, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Dominica, Antigua, Barbuda. This here is by Friday. Now, by Friday, it will be developing into uh, Gabrielle already by that point, most likely. We'll see how this all shakes out. High pressure to the north, right? So that's the blocker. That allows it to continue to move its way to the west-northwest. But as we go out in time, the pattern changes as this evolves. So here we are in the Caribbean. This here would be by Monday, so almost a week from now. We're we're looking six days from now, this area becoming a hurricane. You can see in the Atlantic, here we are in the Caribbean, but that area of high pressure I showed you just to the north, it's not really there. It's kind of moved off toward the east. So these fronts here will come in there's been a lot of fronts over toward the Bahamas, Bermuda, Florida, Southeast U.S. That may allow this area to turn with high pressure way the heck over there. That's the blocker. That's really not in place. So if this uh, develops and develops sooner, it'll kind of feel these fronts to the north. It'll find an alleyway. Systems that are spinning want to go poleward. They naturally want to go to the north uh, so long there's not a blocker there. And you see here, this is a week from now by Tuesday. Uh, so not this Tuesday, obviously. This would be next Tuesday. You could see a hurricane sitting here, but high pressure just off toward the east. That would allow it a window to curve to the north. It would kind of feel these fronts, and that would tug it up to the north. So, so long this happens, that would mean it misses us in the Caribbean. But what we need to watch out for, does high pressure it will be a little bit stronger, allow this to move to the west, or down the road, does high pressure build back in? So there's so many variables because this is so far out here and there's a lot of time to watch it. Now, here's a look at some of the variations of that European model. So you have, you could have a computer model and then there's variations of it this is showing uh, this area a little bit more to the west. So the main European model, which I just showed you, 
has it uh, making that curve. That would be very good news, at least temporarily, always watching the Atlantic region of Canada, Bermuda, the US, the Bahamas. Uh, but the main European model has it making its turn. But some subtle variations of this have this moving a little bit closer to the Caribbean. This would be by the time we get into the middle of next week. And that's why I mentioned, uh, as of now, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know what I know and what I don't know. It hasn't even developed yet fully. So with that, uh, there's a lot of variables and the European model saying, hey, that if one or two things change in the atmosphere, this could be a little bit closer to us in the Caribbean. I will know far in advance if this will move toward the Caribbean. Right now, hoping, uh, no doubt it makes its turn. We don't want anything close to land for obvious reasons. That's, that's where we are, but also uh, because uh, that's where the highest ocean heat content is. Look at the Gulf, the Bahamas, right through the Caribbean, these red shadings, even these yellow shadings. If anything gets in here, here as we go over the next few months, it could really rapidly intensify. This is not just warm water. This is warm water that goes far down. That provides a lot of fuel for these systems. So anything over the next few months that gets in uh, near land uh, could rapidly intensify. That's what we'll be watching out for as we get deeper into hurricane season. Now, that was the European model. Let me show you what we have with the American model. So similar pattern overall, watching the blocker here, but remember, all of the storminess back through the northern Bahamas, southeast United States, that's because high pressure is not in control here. There's been those fronts. You see them right here. So this here is by Friday. This is Gabrielle, what should become Gabrielle uh, right there. Here we are in the Caribbean. Again, here are these fronts. More rain, additional rain through some of the uh, same spots. Now going out in time here as we work our way into the upcoming weekend, here are the fronts watching this starting to make a bit of a turn in here. By the time we get into Sunday, so long these fronts kind of stick around here and high pressure shifts away, that would allow it to make its curve. So here we are, uh, Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Anguilla, St. Martin. This here would be a week from now. The pattern is showing as it stands now. That would allow it to make a curve because high pressure would be off toward the east. That would give it a window to develop. Now with that said, we're also about to uh, go into that active period. Another strong tropical wave will be watching that. In models, by the way, mid to late uh, September are kind of hinting at some close to home development. Not everything just comes off the coast of Africa. By the way, that's because of the global trade winds. If you're in Africa, you're also, everything feels like it's coming from the Indian Ocean. So just kind of depends on perspective. If you're in Europe, it feels like everything's coming from uh, Canada and the U.S., but as we get deeper into the season, sometimes we can get close to home development where we get these old fronts, areas of moisture in through the Gulf or Western Caribbean that do try to develop. So it's about to get, it is about to get very active and we'll just track it storm by storm. Now here's a closer look at some of the areas of rain we're watching. I mentioned that spot near Barbados and there's some of the rain back through Cuba over toward the northern and central Bahamas, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Panama, some areas of rain, Jamaica, we're still kind of hit or miss scattered thunderstorms. Leave your location. Uh, what you're getting or not getting, I'll be going through that throughout the day no matter uh, where you are. Hit or miss as we get toward Haiti, Turks and Caicos. Uh, tomorrow, Cuba, Bahamas, still that rain. There are some of the showers trying to sneak in near St. Vincent of the Grenadines. St. Lucia, we'll be watching that near Grenada and still some of the rain, Costa Rica and Panama. And then as we go on time here into Thursday, Generally the same thing, right? Still watching this spot here with additional rain, South Florida, Northern Bahamas, back through Cuba, then all eyes will be on the Atlantic waters, what is happening there. And of course, later in the month, we'll be watching over toward the Gulf and the Western Caribbean to see if anything does develop a little bit closer to home. Now take a look at this, two systems, this one, Kiko, this one, Lorena, uh, or should be Lorena rather soon. Kiko will eventually get close to Hawaii. We'll watch that for the middle of next week. Shorter term watching this, this will, I was showing you this a few days ago, lift up toward the Baja, Southern Baja, really heavy rain. We're going to be watching that moving in. The core of this though, the heaviest weather should be just offshore for tomorrow. Then as it lifts more to the north, by Thursday there will be weakening because as it lifts to the north, it encounters cooler water, it encounters some of the land, but that rain starts to feed in Thursday into Friday. And you see that not only the Baja, but pulling into northwestern Mexico and watching Arizona, New Mexico, West Texas. This is a heads up. Some of this rain may filter in with that flood potential, which could be high throughout parts of the south. 
southwest United States. And then here's Hawaii. Here's Kiko still holding together. Lots of time to watch that to see how close it moves. So this one may get closer to Hawaii. This area moves into Mexico. Tropical storm conditions in the Baja first. And then we'll be watching out for the potential of flooding that will be feeding inland. And you can see it here. This will become Lorena. Uh, should become a strong tropical storm. Then kind of swing it right through the central Baja, weakening as it does. But then it throws in that rain again Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday. All the models in very good agreement with that kind of turn in through here, bringing it back across land. Then we get out here. This is Kiko just watching this for days and days. We'll see how much of this hangs together as it gets closer to Hawaii by the time we get into next week. So long time to watch that. Now to the north, here are those fronts, Bermuda back through the Bahamas near Florida. Another one uh, coming out of uh, Manitoba, uh, Ontario, Quebec. We'll see that front that will be moving by, wrapping in some colder air, some of the snow here. This right here is what will become Lorena. So as we go out in time here, this is uh, by the time we work our way into tomorrow afternoon, some of the rain, Great Lakes, additional rain back through the Bahamas, some of that clipping by Bermuda watching toward the Avalon Peninsula. And then as we work our way into Thursday, there's that rain feeding in right in through here. Here's that larger system that'll work its way closer to uh, New Brunswick by the time we get into the end of the week. This here is by Friday. So uh, basically central and western, uh, or rather eastern Canada through the Great Lakes, a little bit stormy. There's that front still back through South Florida and the Bahamas. And there's that rain feeding in Arizona, New Mexico. Mexico, extreme west Texas for that flood threat and those tropical storm conditions that will be likely right across the uh, Baja. Watching the seas, not too rough. Caribbean being in the Gulf, uh, generally doing okay. With that said, be mindful if you're in the open waters, of course, watching out for the uh, lightning, especially some of the storms that have been back through the Bahamas over toward uh, Cuba. We've had some of those uh, thunderstorms. Now look at these rain totals. Parts of Cuba swinging up toward the northern Bahamas, uh, back through the uh, Florida Keys. We could get some spots that top four inches of rain or 100 millimeters of rain over the next few days. Uh, extreme southeastern sections of uh, Florida as well. Some really heavy pop pockets of rain. Flooding will be a potential. Scattered areas of rain to isolate it back through Haiti and the Dominican Republic. We were talking about that yesterday. Hit or miss Cayman Islands, Jamaica, but if we get a shower storm, that could give us a quick 50 millimeters of rain. Isolated Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Not as much Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barts, uh, Montserrat, Saba, St. Kitts and Nevis, but we could still get a few passing showers even a passing thunderstorm. It's just not widespread. Then we swing here. Here's that area of rain I'll be watching getting closer tomorrow to St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. We could get some three-day totals approaching 50 millimeters of rain. We'll be watching Guyana, Suriname, isolated showers and storms. But southern Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama still, those totals that will be upwards of 150 millimeters of rain in some spots up to six inches. A lot of little microclimates in here. So again, some spots uh, drier, but others getting uh, dumped on. We had some rain overnight, southern Belize, watching Guatemala for some additional rain, even El Salvador. And here's that rain that will be with Lorena working its way up toward the Baja, where you get some spots in through here in uh, western uh, Mexico, northwestern Mexico. Some spots will be over 100 millimeters of rain, and then we'll see how much of this kind of feeds in toward parts of Arizona, uh, New Mexico, and uh, Texas as we work our way toward the uh, end of the week elsewhere, watching out for some scattered storms. So a 40 even, up to about a 50% chance of some scattered thunderstorms for us in uh, Jamaica, our rain chance in the Cayman Islands, we're going to hold that about 30%. Some spillover showers from the north kind of coming in from Cuba will be a possibility. Little bump up tomorrow and Thursday. Trinidad and Tobago will be up to a 40 to 50% chance. Keeping an eye on some of that moisture. Most of it has been just to the south of Barbados, but some of that may try to feed in later today, even tonight while we're sleeping. So watching uh, that for those spotty showers. St. Lucia, some of that tries to work our way tonight and again tomorrow, 40 to 50% chance. And holding on to about a 40% chance of scattered showers the next three days in Grenada. Rain chance tomorrow higher, some of that moisture feeding in. St. Vincent and the Grenadines will be up to about a 50% chance and a 30 to 40 percent chance the next couple of days in Martinique, a 40 percent chance over the next two days uh, passing showers in Dominica. Guadalupe rain chance today, 40 percent.
50%, a 30% chance for tomorrow. Antigua, Barbuda, rain chance low, but it doesn't mean we're not going to see a few showers, even a couple thunderstorms around St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat. Again, the overall rain chance is not high, but some of us will get a few passing showers. Anguilla, St. Bart's, rain chance about 20%, a 20% chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. We work our way back through Puerto Rico. Some scattered thunderstorms today. We're looking at a 40% chance. That could lead to some isolated flooding, hit or miss back through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands over the next few days. Bahamas, of course, northern Bahamas, the higher chance of rain again that is sticking around. Turks and Caicos rain chance holding at 30% the next two days. The Dominican Republic, 40% chance today and tomorrow, but if we get some rain, uh, runoff, dangerous rivers. Those rivers have been on the rise. Same thing in Haiti, very active. Be mindful of those river crossings, especially that one uh, near uh, Jacmel with some of the rain that we had overnight. 20% chance of rain in Belize, still favoring our southern sections in Belize the next few days. Meanwhile, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, rain chance staying on the low side, 20%. That would be about it. Guyana, the next two days, a 40% chance in just isolated in Suriname. Rain chance holding at 30%. Cuba, though, some stronger thunderstorms possible, running at a 40 to 50% chance. Some of those could be severe with some gusty winds. Costa Rica and Panama, we we're talking about that flood potential, still with us the next few days. Nicaragua, southern sections, better chance of rain. Meanwhile, Honduras, rain chance about 30%, some spotty showers, 60 to 70% chance, Guatemala and El Salvador uh, right through the end of the week. Mexico City, rain chance at 70% in a 40% chance over the next two days, right across the Yucatan uh, Peninsula, 50 to 60% chance, northern uh, sections of Colombia. In northern Venezuela, rain chance will bump up mid to late week. Meanwhile, watching those fronts at times, trying to give us some showers in Bermuda. So that Atlantic tropical wave will be developing into uh, Gabrielle, tracking how quickly it forms. Again, the quicker it forms, the actual uh, chance that it goes more north is, is higher. Uh, the slower it forms, the better chance it moves closer to the Caribbean. But we have that active period ahead, even down the road, watching the Gulf and the Western Caribbean for some development that will be possible close to home. So thank you for being with me and sharing this information with your friends and family, and have a good Tuesday ahead.